My name is Dr. Felicia Campbell, and I am a December 2018 graduate of Cleveland University, Kansas City. So I've actually known Dr. Day for a couple of years now. I got to know him on a personal level, and I just wanted to share a couple of things that he really helped me with as I was transitioning from student to real life doctor. A little background about me. I did not grow up in a chiropractic family. I am the first chiropractor, and so I really didn't know how to start this transition, going from a student and going out into the real world and applying for jobs and everything. Now, I also knew I wanted to do an associate position. That was something that was pretty set in my mind. It wasn't really going to change at that time. And so I thought about going to Dr. Day because him and his wife owned a practice, they still practice, and I thought, well, if he was wanting to hire an associate, what would he look for being a business owner? And so I knew I wanted to go back towards my hometown. And at the time, unfortunately, there really weren't a lot of associate positions available. So I was kind of panicking because I was a month out from graduation and I had no set plans. My plan was to build up the resume and send it out blind and just hope that someone found interest in me. So I went to Dr. Day and the first thing he did is he helped me sit down and kind of go over what to put in a resume. The little things to add, things maybe not to add, maybe more important points. He even gave me a site to use that I could create my resume. And so over the next couple of days, I took the time, really put my resume together, definitely a rough draft. And then when I was done with it, I sent it back to him. And luckily for me, he ended up, you know, marking off some things that I thought maybe were important. And, you know, he made little changes here and there, again, because he wanted me to send out the best version of this resume that I could to these employers. The next thing he had me do is he said, okay, what kind of practices are you looking for? And I knew I wanted to do more kind of wellness, family kind of practices to start out in my career. So he said, okay, go ahead and start researching those. So I started researching, kind of put a pile together. I can't remember how many, maybe eight, nine, 10, somewhere around there. And then I ended up sending them to him because I said, hey, I want you to look at these sites and give me your honest opinion. What do you think? We looked at several different sites and okay, these are good, these are good. But I remember we looked at one and half of the buttons didn't work. It was super vague. It just wasn't a very good presentation, I thought. And, you know, again, I didn't really think about that because at this point, again, I was kind of desperate. I want to start paying off my loans. I was nervous about making any money. You know, how am I going to do this out in the real world? I wouldn't have even thought to look at, you know, kind of a vague site versus one that was super detailed. You know, I took my resume and I sent it to those practices that we thought would be a good fit for me. And then I kind of sat and had the waiting game. Now, luckily for me, I ended up finding a job a little bit away from my hometown, but uh, not too far. And it ended up being a great fit for me. But of course, once you start the job and they hand you the contract and you're like, oh my gosh, you're just... I was very overwhelmed personally because I didn't know what the contract should include, what's good, what's bad. I mean, there's little things here and there that you know you don't really know much about. And so first person I contacted was Dr. Day. Would you mind going over my contract for me? And he, without hesitation, went ahead and looked over it. And you know, he talked about a couple things to negotiate, things to ask, you know, is this included? Is this not included? Little things in the contract that again, that I just kind of went right over. And I'm so thankful that I got a hold of him because I ended up negotiating a little bit with my boss. We came to an agreement. I signed the contract and here I am two years later still in this associate position. And so it was a great fit for me. I've gotten so much, so much growth out of this job. And I know I, I have grown so much over the past two years and I cannot thank Dr. Day enough for really taking the time to help me in this journey because again, I had no idea what I was doing and without his help, I don't know if I would have been in the job that I have today. And so I just really wanna encourage you guys all to take the time, find the job that really fits you guys best. Don't just jump into the first opportunity because you may find your forever job if you really take the time to present yourself and really find what you're looking for in an associate position. But I just wanna wish you all the best of luck. Uh, Dr. Day has really some great tips, some great advice on helping you guys really start to look for that associate position. So I would highly encourage that you guys reach out to him and use his knowledge to help you guys find that perfect job.
So again, want to wish you all the best of luck and you guys all take care.